in to the wall, right? And this is the universal plug, right? This is the same plug as you'll find on this one, just different voltages, all right? 240, 120. And that plugs into a universal port on the car, right there. So if you got into a situation where, oh my gosh, I'm getting low on charge and I, I need to exit and go someplace where I can plug in, you can plug this into the wall anywhere you find an outlet. Now underneath the hood here, you can get a little closer if you want. The lights, the running lights are LED based running lights. You also have uh, LED brake lights in the rear. This looks like a small engine or motor, but it's not. This is a electronic control unit, ECU. That's wrapped in a water jacket. There's a water jacket around the inverter, which is back there, and there's a water jacket around the electric motor. All those need to be kept a little cool because they do get warm. So you've got coolant here, you've got another coolant cap over there, and a coolant for reservoir right there. You do have a radiator in the car, right? That needs to be flushed every 120,000 miles or so. This fluid right here is brake fluid. So in addition to using regenerative braking to slow the car down, you're always using mechanical braking as well. So the brakes and the uh, pads will be engaging at all times also. The last fluid is this fluid right here that you all have in your cars right now that you need to keep your windshields clean. Other than that, you're not looking at any oil changes, transmission fluid flushes, etc., etc. Um, What's the little battery there for? That's, well, was, good question. That is a lead acid battery. You may recognize this from your car, and that is the starter battery. That battery turns on the computer on board that boots up the entire system. That locks the doors. That runs, what else, off 12 volts? Anybody? Radio. Radio lights, sure, air conditioning. Everything that's run off 12 volts is run off of that battery right there. That battery receives some charge. Stay here. When you're driving from this little thing here, anybody recognize that? Yeah, that's a small solar panel. This will trickle charge that lead acid battery while you're driving the car. Okay, it will not charge the car while you let it sit in the sun. Okay, unfortunately, solar is just not at the point yet where it is cost effective to plaster solar all over the entire car. You would need a system the size of this roof, essentially, to charge a LEAF, a 24 kilowatt capacity vehicle, in a day. All right? So solar just isn't at that point yet. In the future, if it is, absolutely, that would be a great idea to put a solar panel on the roof, but just not today. No, sir. If that lead acid battery dies, then the car does not work. Yes, yeah, separate. Yeah, four thousand three hundred twenty-two pounds.